Hello everybody, welcome to Guitar Paradiso on Anzins TV. My name is Pete. My name is Mick, hello. And this is the last video of today, the 9th of uh, November 2016, that day. Oh yes. You know which day it is. An interesting day yeah. in and, world uh, history. And also an interesting day because Mick's got a really sore throat. I do have a very sore yes. throat. And uh, we had Fre Friedman in earlier, now we've got Morgan in here. We do. Yeah. Andy. Andy. <coughs> <laughs> Friedman. Morgan? Morgan Friedman. Hey. Andy. Andy. You know, Shawshank Redemption, you must have seen that. I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have. Okay, sorry. exactly. Sorry, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> hammer, hammer the gag home, it's never as funny when you have to explain it, is it? <laughs> Hang on, I'm caught up here, mate. Uh, right, good. Yeah. Okay, so Morgan Amps, um, you know we like Morgan Amps. Joe we do. Morgan out there in California, IA, uh, making very nice hand wired boutique amps. Boutiques amps. Boutique amps, yeah. yeah. Um, shall we start here? We shall start with the one you have there, which is also a new addition to the Anderson's uh, arsenal of Morgan <coughs> uh, amplifiers. And this is a... MVP23, I've got it cranked, which is why it's humming a bit. Yeah. Um, um, amazing. We were waiting for another one to turn up. Yes. And when we were waiting for another one to turn up, I was just plugging in these rubbish old guitars here. Yeah. <laughs> This is the this is the Caps um, 58 reissue, and this is a Mike Landau signature. Scratch. It's just an awful guitar day today. Uh, I had one of the most inspiring little playing sessions that I've had. Uh, yeah, because you just kept on playing. While I just we were kept on playing, which get, never, get never normally happens. So back from the uh, warehouse. Um, I was going to start clean and go dirty, but we kind of set dirty, so let's start there. So the MVP 23 is dirty, according to Morgan, is kind of well. Okay, so it's got two EL 84s, cathode biased. Clark running in class A. Okay. Which you would associate with a kind of, um, I guess, with a British thing, certainly with a Voxy thing, but also the 18 watt Blues Breaker, the, the, whether you got it as the 1974 combo or the 2061 exactly. head. Yeah. Um, which are slightly different amps, but yeah. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Doing that, that job, yeah, and then and then he says crossed with uh, a boutique American amplifier selling for a hundred thousand dollars or more, which of course <laughs> means means uh, the D means the D word means yeah, the Dumble the word, D. which I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, well, you've actually played one of those. I have. You? I played so, one very recently. Uh, spent yeah. some time with it, and it was yeah. uh, uh, an enlightening experience. Yeah. Anyway, so um, so the cool thing about the MVP twenty three, as hopefully you can see from the amp cam there. Uh, if you have a look at the top panel, and handily, there's this here which helps me to see as well. It's got um, volume and gain, which you would imagine on um, most amps, so front end, master volume, but it's also got power scaling. Yes, power scaling. Which means you can get the thing cranked and driving at lower yes. output levels. So what, what's it? It's really, a, it goes down a lot, doesn't it? I'll show you right now. So show me, baby. It's kind of cranked, and this is a Les Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like makes that. you smile um, and be happy. Hello. So that's probably, you know, whatever. I'll turn it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably hit something because it goes from a quarter of a watt or something, 0 0.3 something, yeah. and then up to your 23 watts. But you know, it's a, it's one of those, so and it doesn't say. You'll hear. And this is no pedals, ladies and gentlemen. So if we go down, if we now go <laughs> go right down to kind of the minimum level, minimum. It's a good noise. That, is a that really makes a lovely noise, that amp. Uh, and, I, and, and to be fair, you know, it's loud, but it's not, my ears are not bleeding. Yeah, loud. I think. We, we talk a lot about that, you know, where you, it's actually, it's not an uncomfortable, yeah. because it sounds good, yeah. means it's not uncomfortably loud. And I think the way the power sections work in there is, um, obviously it's compressing a little bit, and that's where you get all the juice and juice. loveliness. 
So it will do all that, but one thing I was playing with was getting it to about here, pushing that, pushing that, uh, which way is this around? Bit of bass, bit of treble, bit of middle. And hitting it with a couple of gain stages in the front of it. So on the floor I've got a custom audio electronics boost overdrive and a Kingsley page. So. Absolute, you like that, don't it's you? It's absolutely full on Billy Gibbons, David Grissom. Like, rah! yeah, and those are boosts, though, not, those aren't overly colored drives, they're just boosting the amp into yeah. ever more submission. Oh, so we know it can do like really nice Voxy Marshall y type yeah. crunch, and we know it can do when you kick it hard, we know that it can do silliness. Yeah, uh, but right when yeah. you change and you get your Mike Landau on, this was the other. There's a surprising revelation about this amp. So I'm going to put the power scaling all the way up to full output, just so we get the the, the full love, as it were. Um, mm, uh, love. Hit it with some reverb. Hall of Fame, TC Electronic, on yeah. the floor there, carbon copy delay. And a little bit of boost. A little bit of boost. In fact, no, let's leave the boost off so we're not, we're not. It's just the most beautiful sound. And I was, magic, isn't it? I was messing around, you know. Um...
There's, there's magic! There's just, there's something about a place in an amp where it's loud and it's dynamic and I don't know, I, you know, I quite, when I play quite often I fight the guitar. Yeah. Nah, just letting it happen there. Let it happen. <sighs> okay, so there you go. That was an overview of the MVP23, which as you can hear, if you, <clears throat> The amp on its own can do pretty good drive. In fact, it can do really, really nice drive. But hit it with a couple of extra gain stages, and they are gain stages. They're not they're not coloured overdrives. They're just it's just boosts. Boosts, yeah. yeah. Um, and but y then you can get that really clean thing. I was doing that earlier, wasn't I? Um, Shad's fans are screaming at the camera yeah, right now. That's no, not no, right. No, 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 no. But it's got that. It's but got it that just beautiful, um, glossy, beautiful. It's just lovely. Yeah, a little edge of overdrive. That was that was that was the amp um, MXR, MXR carbon copy delay doing completely the wrong um, <laughs> delay for that song and a, a Hall of Fame reverb. But my the clarity goodness. on that is just right. Yeah. So anyway, we um, right moving on. So we move on. Let's do that. Yeah. Right. So we've just moved amp cam. Amp cam. So uh, this is the PR5, Pete. Maybe PR5. Can... Well, you know, we are big fans of the PR12 here, uh, which is a 12 watt. And this is the PR5, which is 5 watts. I think that's basically yeah, the I... only difference in the so two the, amps. So the PR12, which is this astonishing sounding 12 watt. I mean, it's based on a Princeton, but it has a beefed up um, output transformer. Yeah. And the way it handle, handles the power. A uh, little bit more bottom end response. If you know anything about Fender Princeton, normally when you really push them, they tend to squish out a bit on the bottom, which is one thing that makes them really cool. Yeah. Uh, but in the Morgan PR12, there isn't any of that really. It's no. just clean and loud and beautiful, isn't it? And we've been wondering many, many times how that's possible in that amp and with that speaker in well, it. Because there's been a greenback well. speaker. This has got a greenback. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, has it got a greenback? It does yeah, have a greenback green in back. it. And it's, it's just wh how. It's magic. Yeah, so I that, that amp uses um, two 6v6 output tubes. This one uses one 6v6 class yeah. A cathode bias. Yeah. So it's kind of, um, I guess, that single ended one output tube. Yeah. So, which is something like this.
Anyway, it is lovely. It's nice. It's got the PR12 reverb in it, it does, as well, which yeah, has got this cool well. thing, which I will demonstrate to you, man to normal. No. Um, so if you uh, chord me up, Pete. You can hear kind of you can hear that it's not a powerful because as soon as I go it kind of goes yeah yeah it's like you know. um I guess it's like a champ that's gone to the gym <laughs> put on about you know 200 pounds of muscle yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think this analogy is going to end there because yeah. I'm going to say got a new power transformer and a bigger speaker and uh, and then yeah it's weird but it's it's okay this this is the Duesenberg style player and it's got you know, it's got some beefy pickups. Yeah, it, quite beefy, know. aren't they? Yeah. Let me give, just give try it some to, strat. Uh, what do you think about some strat, Pierre? Let's try it, my man. Oh, I do like uh, this Michael Landau custom shop sweetie pie thing. <laughs> This band's from like yeah. clean and then up to like oof, and there's no pedals. I've got no I've got pedals but nothing on. So two observations there. One was what you saw messing around with the uh, reverb level and dwell controls. Yeah. You can have quite a lot of reverb dialed in, but when you have the dwell dialed down, yeah. you don't it doesn't kind of wash everything in reverb and particularly as Pete started to play a bit harder then and we got a bit of drive going and especially if you're using overdrive yeah you could you might want a lot of reverb but you just wash it out because it's the tail on the reverb is really long the dwell yeah, yeah, yeah. cuts the tail off so you can still have a reverb and quite a lot of it but it's not washing everything out yeah that's pretty cool I it's think. pretty cool because on most amps you know you've got one reverb control that's just yeah that's it yeah it's that dwell it. thing is really cool. Let me try to boot, hit it with a boost. Sorry. Secondly, the second observation was that you'll yeah. see that up until about 10 or 11 o'clock it gets louder. Yeah. And then it gets a little bit louder after that, but it, it just gets more... Grunty. Yeah, but that, I mean, it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. It's yeah. loud, loud enough for a, a small gig. Yeah. I mean, it, you, it, wouldn't, you wouldn't get clean at a small gig. It's not, no, not loud it's enough not for that. No. But, um, but it's it's a it's only five watts. It's the same as the other one. It's only twelve watts, but it, it feels much much louder yeah. than twelve watts. The twelve one you could you could do easily pretty gig. Much any gig with that. Yeah, you? especially think, if you yeah. like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, so let's try. Hit it, hit it with I'm just some... gonna boost, put a boost in here. 
So we're just laughing, it's like every day's Christmas. Let's see what happens. Without a boost. Hey, you all right? Without a boost and with a boost. Just at the end there, just with the with the gain set to like three, sort of there. Definitely got that. I mean, that was loud. That was really loud. That was loud. That was, My ears hurt now. Yeah, definitely. yeah, that was bordering on painful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a playing though. But that's that's a great example of a difference between. It's a shame we don't have a PR12 here actually, because that is a great example of a small amp cranked. Yeah. You just get all this lovely fizzy stuff. Yeah. It's just it's such a cool sound. Yeah. Such a cool sound. Not if you like loud and clean, because of course. It, then it, you get the PR12, you know, if you want that where you can, where, and the PR12 yeah. can do this, but then it gets too loud, I think. Yeah. Then, it, then it's too loud for, for that. It'll, it'll still do that if you turn it up, but it just gets too loud. Yes. Where then you'll have to start getting, a, you know, like a like attenuator or something on it, on it. Yeah. like we did in yeah. another video. It's a very specific sound, your, your cranked 5 watt valve amp. It is. It's pretty. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. But maybe we could do it in another video. We can do a PR12 with, with the PR5. It yeah, could be should. an option. We should. It could be an option. Yeah. Should we mention these finishes? Yes, the finishes. That's called driftwood, right? Yeah. And this is called midnight twilight. or something. Oh, twilight. It's yeah. called ballistic nylon. Uh, twilight, as in the movie, the mixed favorite film of all times. <clears throat> and this is uh, driftwood. It looks a bit like more like wood, I guess. But ballistic nylon, so it's very, 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 very strong. Hard mowing, yeah. It's and they, um, the way Morgan designs the cabinets is that the baffle is integrated into the whole box yeah so it's not a separate thing it's it's integrated yeah um, and it's a it's a really I have to say if you're going to design a guitar amplifier in this day and age it's pretty hard to do something it, different it is but these are different what a beautiful looking amp yeah it's mm. a beautiful looking amp you know there's loads of amps out there that, that to us look like other, look like other amps and you know it's it's as you say design something new it's yeah. just really difficult this these are Definitely it. Um, and, and I don't know if we said we did say there's a green back in there. I don't think I said what speaker was in here. I think it's a it's a G twelve seventy five H. Your cream back. Absolutely correct. Yes. It's the heavy magnet cream back. Yeah. Which is a speaker I like a lot. A whole lot. I like it. A, I like it as well. Um, yeah. It is uh, one of my favourite speakers at the moment uh, because it just does lows and highs really well, and it seems to sort of give that clarity and it, that I like in my playing anyway. Um, fabulous, groovy, fabulous. Well, man, I can't say anything else. No, I come into the store and try them out. Uh, just p pick a guitar, plug it in. It's it's <clears> a it's a it's a great experience. That one will take you about five minutes because you just turn it up. <laughs> yeah, let's go like this. Oh, this is a very sports. This one, there's so much in there. As as hopefully we kind of yeah, we went to both ends of. But you, you know, I must say, Mick sat sat before we were waiting for for the. Come to come over from the warehouse, and you sat there for about half an hour or something, and he just didn't stop playing. Yeah, and just kept tweaking. Then that guitar, and then that guitar. That is a sign 
when when that happens, especially this guitar, especially this guitar, ba da ba do ba do ba do ba do da do. You too could help a Mick this yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you do, <laughs> Mr. Anderton. Yeah, yeah. It Actually, is Christmas coming up. We shouldn't joke up. about such things, but no. that is a spectacular guitar. Mike Michael Landau, um, signature Fender Custom Shop. It is lovely. Fender it Custom. is really, really it's nice. Only about nine million pounds as well. So. Yeah, yeah. But you can't throw it out. Uh, it's got a sign on it on the back there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't put it in the bin. Don't put it in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> When you put those on there, uh, you can't put this in the yeah, bin. Yeah, it must be disposed of carefully. Yeah, put it in the uh, put it in the fireplace instead. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Okay. You done. know what? I haven't played that amp, so what I think we oh, just yeah, swap yeah. over. No, no, we'll just uh, we'll just do that. And before we do that, then uh, probably what you're going to see at the end is I'm going to sit and mix here. <gasps> And no, no, that's just what leads, man. Do you just want to swap leads? Or, or would you rather the acoustic coupling? Shall we, shall we actually try to sit in each other's chairs and see if we blow up or something? Oh my turn into dust? Goodness me. Right, you need this. I need that. Okay, yeah. before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, this was Guitar Paradiso. And uh, this was the PR5 combo. And MVP23. 23, 23 mm. watts. I'm not sure I said that. Yeah. Links are below in the description. Come in to Anderton's store and check them out and um, my name is Pete my name is Mick and we will see you soon